Hi, this is Artifacts from Mars. Now, we all know by now that Obama slapped a bunch of sanctions on uh, Russia, and they, he expelled 35 of their diplomats, and they closed a couple of, there's some kind of rep centers or something. Uh, uh, Russians can no longer use something like that. At any rate, oh, well, look at, Look at what site this is. This is Rolling Stone, which is notoriously left-wing. They don't even believe Obama. Now, Putin is not going to retaliate. Apparently, well, that's what he says. I wouldn't trust his word very far either. In an extraordinary development Thursday, the Obama administration announced a series of sanctions against Russia. 35 Russian nationals will be expelled from the country. Obama issued a terse statement blame, seeming to blame Russia for the hack of the DNC emails. These data theft and disclosure activities could have only been directed by the highest levels of the Russian government, he wrote. Russia at first pledged dark, darkly to retaliate, then backed off. Russian press today is even reporting that Vladimir Putin is inviting children of American diplomats to visit the Christmas tree in the Kremlin, as character characteristically loathing, menacing, sarcastic a Putin response as you'll find. Dramatic story puts news media into a jackpot. Absent independent verification reports will have to rely on secret assessments of intelligence agencies to cover the story at all. I say, uh, it's basically a little less, uh, useful than bullshit. I mean, with bullshit, you can at least use it to fertilize your crops. You can see the awkwardness reflected in the headlines that flew around the internet Thursday. Some news agencies seemed split on whether to unequivocally declare that Russian hacking took place or whether it had spread some bets and put all of it on the government to make a declaration using Obama's says formulations. New York Times is more aggressive, writing flatly, Obama strikes back at Russia for elect election hacking. That's not who he's striking back at, no. <laughs> to me, it looks like he's trying to provoke the Russians to get them to do something to make us suffer. Let me put it to you like this. Obama and Democrats are furious at us. Furious at uh, those of us we live out in the sticks, and we're working class, and we said no way to Hillary. And Obama and Democrats, make no mistake, they are furious at us. How dare we? How dare we vote for anybody else other than who they chose? Uh... And they just don't get it. They just uh, were tired of uh, being ignored all the time. And at least Trump is saying many of the things that we're saying. This is why I got all those votes. I heard a quote from Trump said he worked specifically to win the Electoral College, not to win the popular vote. He played by the rules, and he won. Uh, it's, the New York Times is even more aggressive writing finally Obama strikes back at Russian for the election hacking. It backed up a story with a link to a joint FBI Homeland Security report that details how Russian civilian and military intelligence services termed RIS in the report, twice breached defenses of 
a U.S. political party, presumably the Democrats. The report is long on jargon, but short on specifics. More than half of it is just lists of suggestions for preventative measures. At one point, we learned the code name the U.S. intelligence community has given to Russian cyber shenanigans as Grizzly Step, a sexy enough detail. But we don't learn much about all of what led our government to determine that these hacks were directed by the Russian government or that they were under undertaken with the aim of influencing election in particular help Donald Trump. Well, there's not... Now, everybody is hacking everybody. That's nothing new. That's because we have these computers that everybody can get into, if you know how. That doesn't mean they influence election. As I have said, they're... These Democrats are furious at you and I. Those of us who voted for Trump, they're furious at us. See their reaction all over the country? They're going bonkers. And they're trying to get basically a neighborhood bully to go after the kid with the glasses. Okay, sorry folks, I lost my train of thought. So they go up to the neighborhood bully and say, Hey, that uh, kid with the glasses, you helped him win that school election. This is a metaphor. You helped him win that school election. And I am really mad at you. So what does the neighborhood boy go do? He goes after the kid with the glasses and says, Hey, what the fuck? You're saying that we, I helped you? He's trying to get a Putin to do something to punish us. He's, uh, he knows if he tries it directly, people are angry enough right now. The violence is rising all over the country. And people are angry right now, so he knows that's not a wise and prudent thing. He's basically trying to get provoke the Russians and the punishing the people of this country. Obama hates this country. And I can tell you something. Gloves are off. I know I scolded uh, that Paladino guy for uh, basically calling Michelle Obama a gorilla. And she ought to go back become a man again and come back to Africa. Well, I don't have any problem with that now. See, if anyone is... I'm all done with this. I'm all done with it because... You know, Obama does this, and that, this is the last straw. So, someone calls his wife some racist name or something, I'm going to sit here and laugh. I'm not going to respond to it. I don't care anymore. I am so angry, uh, I just stopped caring. And it talks about, you know, Washington Post and whatnot. I'm wondering, I'm more than a little surprised here at Rolling Stone. They seem to be turning right, at least in this story. They're not buying it. No, no one with a brain would buy this story. It's phony baloney. They have no proof. It's impossible. There's technical reasons why... In this technological world, someone could launch an attack from uh, Washington, D.C. and hack our government. It looks like it comes from that. It comes from Washington, D.C., but it could be a Russian spy. And they're not going to have their machines registered in their own name if they're a Russian spy determined to hack us. It would be all too easy uh, to hide this stuff if I was a hacker. I'm, not, I'm just a video maker. 
Well, there you go. Obama. Obama is trying to get Russians to punish us because he doesn't dare do it himself. And this man hates this country. It's unbelievable. I'm all done. I'm sick of it. Like I said. The Russian the Russians know that he was trying to use them and they backed off on retaliating. At least for now. Obama's st unstable and probably psychotic. I'd have to talk to you'd have to ask a psychiatrist, but I'd say this guy is probably un he's definitely unstable. I can't say that. Psychotic is is A diagnosis, but I can't, so I really can't say, because I'm not a psychiatrist, but I can say he's unstable, in my opinion. That's not a diagnosis of anything. And here they are ripping the Washington Post, usually they agree with them. Well, there you go. That's going to be it for now. I have a new headset. I hope it comes over okay. Seems to be alright. There's a technical reason why a USB headset or microphone would work better than, uh, what do you call it? Uh, one that goes in a 1 8 inch jack. Alright. I'm RFX Mars. Thanks for watching. Uh, we got a major problem. You know, these idiots are still trying to overtake the election. They're crazier than loons. Obama especially is crazier than loon. Thanks for watching.